So Ed, today is the first day, it's the first strata, and we have some tutorials today. Can you tell me a little bit about how those are structured? Sure, and thanks. You know, we're really excited about um, having a sellout crowd at this conference, and uh, downstairs we've got packed rooms of people really, you know, packing into the workshops to get some learning in before uh, we get the conference rolling with sessions and keynotes tomorrow. So we've got a bunch of things going on. One of the most exciting is we've got four of the brightest data scientist uh, minds teaching all day in a massive room. I just looked in there now, you know, there's people even just sitting around on the floor, around the corners, uh, learning really the, the arts of data science, how to acquire data, clean it up, present it, manipulate it. And at the same time, we've got the same number of folks over in our executive summit, really getting a, whole, a handle on uh, what data analytics, uh, what the, the change in data right now means for, for business. So we have people like you know Bob Page of eBay talking about how his business is, is data driven. And we've got uh, BI and, um, and data warehousing experts like Barry Devlin saying how that world is just completely changing um, uh, and how businesses collect data and use it really needs to be reevaluated. And why do you think that change is happening now? Or why start Strata now? I think we're at uh, an inflection point. You know, over time, uh, in the last few years, we've seen two big trends. You know, one is the, the collection of a lot more data. We're in a connected society. Uh, we all carry, you know, um, cameras, sensors around in our, in our pockets. Everything is instrumented. We're all online. Our every action online generates, um, you know, multiple data items about us and people are collecting that. We have a vast amount of data streaming in to businesses. So, you know, that's one thing. We've got more data than ever before. But at the same time, the means of extraction of value mm. from that data have become a lot more economic. So, you know, that information um, about what you do when you, when you shop online and what your preferences are uh, on Amazon so they can you know, recommend you things to sell and so on, all that data's always been there. But what we can now do is you know, interpret it and analyze it in a, in a timely fashion. So you know, one of the uh, original big data pioneers is Walmart. They're the masters of it. You know, they've got data to the, to the roofs from all their stores. And they've been able to create you know, massive big data setups over the years. But that's because they had the money. What is going on now is that anybody, you or I, can go and you know, plug into a cloud service and we can have that same kind of power. So the potential for uncovering value is just so much greater than it was. So one of the things that's interesting uh, about Strata is that it's bringing together developers as well as business people and, and business owners. So tell me a little bit about the meeting of those minds here. Well, that's an interesting thing, yeah, because you know, a, a lot of the conferences about big data so far have been uh, maybe very tools oriented. You know, here's Hadoop, here's how to get it running. What we wanted to do with Strata was move up to the application layer. You know, tool choice is important, but it's just a hygiene factor. Mm -hmm. But the strategies for um, you know, acquiring data, manipulating it, they actually run from developer right up to the top level of businesses. And we wanted to cover off all those angles. Um, also, let's face it, this is a gold rush right now. Why a lot of the people here, they want to hire. You know, why are other companies here? Well, they may be looking for other companies to buy. We've just seen such a tremendous interest. You know, there's a million reasons right now. Data is just the hottest thing going on. So what does O'Reilly bring to that conversation? Or, or what about the culture of the company of O'Reilly makes it a good host for Strata? Well, I think one of the things we've always been able to do at O'Reilly is, is tell the story. And uh, you know, you've talked about why is now the time, and that's a story we can tell. Everybody here is a part of that story and playing a place in it. And we're able to say, well, here's what's going on in data. Here's a new marketplace that's emerging. Here's a trend, and here's where it's going. I think that's the most valuable thing we can bring, bring that um, context to what everybody's doing. So they say, oh yeah, that's what I'm in the middle of. We did the same thing with Web 2.0. And uh, what we're then able to do is, help people move on, help, help people make the best of the new data opportunity. Yeah, well, we're certainly all excited about it here. I can't wait to see what comes out. What do you think are a few of the trends that will be important to watch? Oh, there's a lot going on this week. Um, you know, one of the really exciting things is the rise of data marketplaces. Mm -hmm. so once you've got these valuable resources, then you, you can trade in them and you can buy other people's data and suddenly make amazing products or really revolutionize some of your own business processes. Um, another really important thing is the rise of real-time. 
you know, you're not going to look at this in a backward looking way. This isn't just we're substituting mainframes with the cloud. We're actually making new things possible. Once you've got uh, sensors, network connectivity, and near real time response, you know, the, the, the possibility of changing our lives in, you know, even now think about in medicine, or what in consumer goods, uh, transportation it is really, you know, exciting. So yeah. we're seeing the technological underpinnings move to support those real time applications. Very cool. Well, it's exciting to watch. Thanks for taking a few minutes to talk. Thanks. Thanks.